What's it good guys? It's your boy with Lightning 4547. Today I present to you System Test 40, so let's go ahead and get on with it. So for the conventional pull stations, I have my Super Spiritronics MS501 dual action pull stations. Okay. Same thing over there. Notification appliances are Siemens UHNs MCSs. Um the one in my room. It's set on 110. Well, actually, no, both of them are set on 110. The one outside is still set on 110, too. But in my closet, we have my Super Spiritronics US 17S. Okay. Same pull. Same alarm. Am I in the gym? Siemens U M M T M C S. I'm set on horn tone. Uh, strobes set on 110 candela. All these strobes are set on 110 candela. Um, so yeah, it was a pain mounting these pole stations because of the brackets. We're literally hitting the bottom screw um, mount on this back box. So essentially. One day, I probably just need to get bigger black boxes, or maybe like the wire mold back boxes or something. But, yeah, I did have to um, modify the bracket so it can actually fit flush with the back box. So, yeah, that took me hours <laughs> to do. Um, and, yeah, and that back box were giving me screw problems where, you know, the screw kept on, you know, not going in correctly. So I finally found the proper screw for it and it's actually holding. So yeah, without further ado, um, this is going to be on March time. They, these strobes, the three strobes right here in the bedroom, in the closet, are actually attached to my Wheelock DSM module. And the DSM module is actually located in my uh evax 100 voice vac panels it's not even on but it's actually right behind where that microphone is um the reason why i'm using a dsm you guys are probably wondering well well why you're not using a panel to sync everything well if i do that if i change the um change it to a master um synchronization which i usually do if i have all two wire alarms and all that um it would actually set all four NACs to Wheelock Sync. And so if I did that, then um there will be no silence on the horn portion. Um, So, like I said, so we only want to have the strobe sync, not the horns. Because obviously these horns are not syncable since they're unless they're mechanical. So therefore, I have the um, Wheelock DSM module attached to uh, NAC 2. And obviously the Siemens UMMT is still on NAC three, and um, yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna be synced with the rest uh, since it's on a different circuit. So without further ado, um, let's go ahead and hit a pull station. Um, I guess we're gonna pull the one in my room. If I did not mention, it's in March time. Epile personnel with epilepsy do not watch. Do not pull any alarms unless there's a real emergency. Let's go. Too fast because it's on Mars time. Now you can hear it. So, yeah, we got audible silence. Um, 
the usually the Siemens UHNs and U um H and H um usually have more RAS than the others. Um that's one thing I noticed. Um oh yeah, this is 1575 Candela. Um so yeah. So we have audible silence here. Obviously everything's in sync because of that wheel off DSM. This is not flashing. Now, if you didn't hear me while it was sounding, the reason why the strobe was flashing so rapidly, because like I said, these are all synchronized strobes, and synchronized strobes rely on cut and current in order to flash the strobe. So every time the NAC cuts off, it will flash the strobe. And since the NAC is on March time, it will flash approximately 120 times in a minute. So, without me forgetting, just hit, um, just reset the pole. And yes, you can actually reset it with the flathead screwdriver. Honestly, I think it actually works better. Um, I think these screws are actually a little bit stripped. Oh, come on. There we go. And there you go. There's the inside. Boom. Button reset. And let's go ahead and reset. Let's go ahead and either put it on, yeah, let's put it on code three. And then if I feel like it, let's go ahead and do continuous. Why not? System is reset. Let's go ahead and hit the outside pole station. System's on code three now. I can actually hear this. I can actually hear the wheel lock sync module over there. If you didn't hear me in that room, like I said, you can actually hear that wheel lock DL sound pretty well. And the funny thing is, when I'm outside, um, down here, you can actually feel this uh, mechanical horn vibrating um, the floor a little bit, which is interesting. Um, the bells did that too, but it's not as, it's not as like aggressive when it shakes as the bells, because obviously bells, you know, vibrate more than. You know, and these are actually decently loud, actually, I, I must say. Um, and it's mostly because there's a lot of reverb in this area because, you know, um, there's not really a lot of things in this um, area. So, can you know, the sound waves is just bouncing off, you know, and I don't know if you can actually hear it in my voice, but like I said, it's a little bit of echo in here. So, especially in that room, too, since there's not really anything in there. Um there's a lot of reverb action, so, yeah, um, just for kicks and giggles, let's go ahead and put it on continuous, and let's go ahead and annoy the neighbors real quick, but the funny thing is, I never got a noise complaint, so it's cool, <laughs> Any second now? Three. All right. 
systems on normal now I think for the last one oh yeah I put it in here I've been testing pull stations lately so it's going to do a smoke everything's on continuous it's gonna get crazy up in this jaw Here we go. Oh my goodness. Damn, you can hear that UMMT. Yep, hear them pretty well. Now, since it's raining outside, I'm not gonna be going outside. Ooh, that's crazy. Ooh, dang. Um, that does sound like a little bit of my elementary school, but my elementary school had um. 4903 and this is 92 and 19s, and yes, they were set on continuous, and they were in the classrooms. So, that's, oh yeah, before we, let's not get, you know, before we, you know, actually, let me get this. Since I'm kind of too far from the. Air that thing out real quick. Air that thing out. Am I at that audible silence? Oh, it finally goes into trouble. Oh, crap. Almost dropped the detector. That would have been so bad. Can I put it on properly? There we go. And, yeah, that is it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and reset. Now I'm probably going to put that thing back on March time just because there's all the vibration and it is a lot. It's a lot of noise for sure. So, yeah, I'm going to probably put it back on March time. So, but yeah, that was the test 40, guys. We're finally in the 40s. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this system test. It's been your boy, Black Lightning, and I'm out this, John.